Okay, so for this PowerPoint, we're just going to look at river, rivers and the feature of erosion, which is going to be a waterfall. This question gets asked quite a lot. You're asked either to discuss the formation of a feature of erosion or a feature of deposition. And we look at deposition in another PowerPoint when we look at the delta. But when we're looking at a feature of erosion, we're looking here at the processes of erosion involved. And you can see here uh, the different methods are identified. Hydraulic action, Abrasion and solution are the three methods that affect the formation of, of um, a waterfall. And attrition is slightly different, and we'll talk about that in a second. But first of all, hydraulic action, and the definitions for all of these need to be known. But hydraulic action is with the force of the water itself. As it flows through the, 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 the channel, it bangs off the, or, or the force of the water itself erodes the bed and the banks and carry that material away then, uh, transporting it down into a, a later stage in the river. So it's hydraulic action, the force of the water itself. Abrasion is the river load, so you might have small pebbles, larger rocks um, being transported in the river and they are also bed banging against the bed and the banks. So they're going to break down the bed and the banks, causing erosion as well. Solution is the, you may have acids in the water, so um, in a limestone landscape, a previous video that we looked at, um, carbonation was affecting the burn. And it's a similar kind of process, but just the acids are, are weaker. But you would have an, a, a, a acid water, possibly from a peat area, um, causing uh, the, the rocks on the bed and banks to be dissolved in the same way as carbonation was previously, as just mentioned. And then the, the, the fourth uh, method here is attrition. And this is slightly different because it's eroding the, the river load itself only. So it's not actually causing any feature to form, I suppose, really, in, in that sense. It's just rounding out the, the, the stones. So they're sharp, jagged stones in the youthful stage. Have they fallen into the river and they're being transported now down to the old age stage. And then when they get to the old age stage, they'll be more rounded off because they've been bagging, banging off each other and, and getting rubbed down, etc. So the three methods um, of uh, erosion, you can see here on the left hand side for a waterfall are hydraulic action, abrasion and solution. Now the example, you would always have to give an example, but we're going to use the power squirt waterfall in County Wicklow. And that's all you need to say about that. And in this waterfall, vertical erosion takes place. And this is where the, um, the river is cutting down into the bed. So you, it's flowing down a slope and it's cutting down into the bed itself. So that's a vertical erosion. And differential erosion is when you have a hard rock. In this example, uh, it's called granite and soft rock after it. And that's shale, which are the two rocks found in power Court. Differential erosion is where the soft rock is eroded more quickly through vertical erosion. You'll see that now in a moment as well in the video. So that the soft rock is eaten away and it undercuts the hard rock, which you can see. So undercutting. And then a plunge pool forms at the bottom of the waterfall. And you'll see that in a moment now as well. So these are the terms that you would have to include and to be able to explain the definitions of these three as well. But just going through the explanation for it itself then, you can see there's your hard rock and soft rock. And the vertical erosion is eating away at the soft rock more quickly. So there's your differential erosion. And it's now beginning to undercut so that a plunge pool is formed at the base. So here you've got the abrasion where the, the load of the river is falling and plunging over with the force of the water itself. So it's both hydraulic action and abrasion <coughs> are digging down into the bed of the river here. And it's undercutting underneath here and the back wall is being dissolved through solution. So there's the three methods of erosion taking place. And it's forming a cap rock, as you can see, it's the idea of the peak of a cap jutting out that the water can collapse over. This cap rock itself isn't going to be supported, as you can see here, by rock underneath it. So eventually this cap rock is going to collapse and the waterfall is actually going to fall off, I suppose, where the finger is pointing there. That's where the waterfall is going to come over. And slowly but surely, this waterfall will cut underneath again, and it'll work its way itself back upstream. So its plunge pool is forming there. There you can see the cap rock has collapsed. This is going to be undercut again, cap rock forming again, which will collapse, and the process continues back upriver. 
And that's, that's the formation of a waterfall. And there you can see the, the load of the river has also deepened the bed there of the river. So there's all your features. The method by which the river is working its way back upstream is called headward erosion, and that can form a um, gorge, which we'll look at in one moment. But just before we do that, you can see this idea of in behind a waterfall, how the, 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 the waterfall is collapsing obviously over into the massive plunge pool here. Just for scale, you can see people standing over here to the right hand side. This is a waterfall which we vid videoed over in Iceland on a trip. And you can see the back wall here is going to be dissolved. Now there's the splash coming back up and that's going to dissolve in, standing in behind the waterfall here, it's going to dissolve the wall behind here. And you can see that the um, cap rock there is jutting out so the waterfall is collapsing over that. So there's your waterfall forming, uh, a perfect example of it, a plunge pool down at the bottom, the uh, hydraulic action and abrasion causing that to deepen, the solution eroding the back wall here, and the cap rock up at the top here, um, the water flowing over that cap rock. And again, as we said, that cap rock can collapse to create a gorge. So originally the waterfall would have been right up at the forefront of this image collapsing right in front of us but it has worked its way back upstream and you can see that it's further back up there now and that's where it's collapsing over there now and in around the bend there I'm sure it's undercutting again for it to collapse even more and continue to work its way back upstream and this feature here where it comes straight down almost like a sheer cliff face across at the bottom there for your river and straight back up the other side that's a gorge and that's the final feature of a waterfall.